Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Cyber Nation Uncensored, where you don't own anything, but you still pay for it anyway, uh, over here on Cyberpunk Red. And, uh, I'm Diamond Dust, I'm your GM, sorry for the delay, folks, uh, had some, uh, re had some, uh, important matters I needed to deal with before, uh, game time today, which, by the way, friendly reminder, life comes for this. Yep. So, on that note. Doesn't that <laughs> eh, it kind of does. Yeah. On that note, uh, I want to start off with uh, going around the table, starting off with Jack. We'll go ahead and get the thing uh, kicked off. Oh, that's what I get for speaking up. <laughs> <laughs> I am back with Jack, and I am playing Thornton, the executive rocker boy metalhead. And we're ready to give this new shield a test drive. It'll be fine. Just no problem. <laughs> Which, uh, you, you were able to get that programmed into your sheet, right? Yeah, I got everything fixed. I did want to ask, and we can, let's, let's do intro right. introductions first, and I'll ask about something. Sasha. Hi, I'm Nick Keat Sasha. I'm playing Magpie, the, uh, art shop fixer who, uh, likes to haggle. <laughs> yeah. And flex her social muscles. Uh, next, we have... Awkward. You have a uh, no, kiwi. Kiwi. Awkward. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hi, I am a uh, kiwi waste. I'm playing your uh, awkward uh, med tech zephyr, who we, you know, definitely did not, you know, sign his life away last week to a court. That mm. did not happen. What? Uh, no. De definitely not. No. He definitely didn't Pit. sign some <laughs> dotted line with a lot of fine print on it. It'll be uh, fine. Absolutely pissed off Gauze and closed that that clinic off to us. <laughs> oh, just, just Zephyr. Oh, just Zephyr. Okay, uh, I, I, yeah, I thought it was yeah. to all of us. <laughs> you all are fine. Um, Ak. The, the Buongiorno, Chumbas! Uh, como esta? I am, uh, uh, I will be playing Backslash, the Italian-American Netrunner media with a knack of just smearing things across the wall to see what sticks. Um, I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> It's uh well I mean that too, but uh you know, what can I say? It's a great character to play and I'm looking forward to it. Uh uh let's see. We do have a heist in store for you today, so that's gonna be kind of fun. But uh I believe uh Jack and Diamond need to actually talk about the body, so I'll just mm -hmm. send it back over to you, Diamond. Alright. Uh Jack, you have a question for me. So how long between the time I got installed and this job uh, getting set up was occurring? Was it at least a day? Yes. Okay. In this building full of nerds, how likely can I get, uh, can I find a, a rabid fan that can throw in uh, pieces of the cyberware that we uh, salvaged from my dead ass. I mean, you got Zephyr. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't. Know if you're, if you're capable of it. Sure. I mean, it, it still mm -hmm. takes a med tech to install, right? Or does it now take a tech to install? I, I don't know. That's that's oh, the real boy. question. I mean, it it's still it's cyber tech, but it's going on a robot body. You're basically mounting it. I I don't know. How does this work? Let's. Find what is out. the call? <laughs> uh, is just a cyber tech it's roll at that point? Uh, uh, Alright, where is... I got it pulled up. I'm looking to for you down. Ah, it. found it. There's going metal. Oh, installing uh, new cyberware. Oh. I... Body. All right, looking at oh, that's on FB. Have a have a touch. 
and I can turn it off. <laughs> uh, Diamond, for yes. your consideration, on page 96, uh, the tab on the left-hand side talks about techs and FPCs. Oh, I yeah. only bring it up because it talks about techs actually designing and making things specifically for cyber bodies. Based off that kind of line of thinking, I would think just the cyber tech check is needed, and I don't think you specifically need a med tech, but I could be wrong from that. I'm just something I find that take, might be useful. Probably still would take four hours of it. Let's see, um, one, two, three, four, five pieces total. That's like 20 hours. Uh, that, that's a lot, that's a lot of time. A lot of time. Well, that's why I didn't, well, why I didn't know if, if Zephyr was able to do that. And two, getting one of the, one of the other nerds around here to go here. Go nuts for a while, and then just go roll around in the alpha and stuff for a day or two. Or I thought I was actually going straight into the into the therapy before we were we were doing anything. To give everybody a uh, week of downtime. Yeah, I think, we, I think we did discuss a week of downtime before. Uh, unfortunately, somebody uh, took out our internet service last week. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, a sniper, a sniper with a car. So uh, I, I think in that case, then you'd have enough time to get all the stuff installed and get your therapy done. Then okay, so that would be very helpful. <laughs> all right, so during that week, week then, um, Zephyr, are you doing uh, therapy for uh, Thornton? Or uh, I can do, I can do therapy, no problem. All right, so in that case, then therapy. Costs less because of Zephyr. I have zero money. <laughs> I mean, like absolutely nothing. Well, I, I, that's why I was. Oh, I think you get complimentary therapy though, like on on, on out the all. So, Zephyr, give me your therapy check. Um, medical check. check. No, that's what I thought. Medical check. Okay, 14. Okay, 14. That, uh, for, uh, that, unfortunately, this week has been unsuccessful. But you do have a couple re-rolls. Uh, I'll ask you. Jack, do you want me to use it? Use a re-roll here? It's I mean, if y'all don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, I'm running on, on 23 humanity, so yeah. <laughs> Would be kind of nice. <laughs> okay. At least you don't roll for humanity anymore. That, that's true. I take sure. I just take the average. Yep. Okay. In that case, just to be sure, I'll throw two luck into that. So let's do that. Reroll that. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's better. Course, didn't even need it. two luck. <laughs> Well, at least that secures yeah. uh, past the 17. Yeah. All right. So, Jack, uh, for uh, mm -hmm. Thornton, you are getting back. You're breaking into a slim bob or a skinny bob. <laughs> well, I had to stay on brand. You're getting 15 humanity back. That helps. Back up to 38. Very nice. I, 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 the only way I can imagine therapy going is just Thornton chilling out in the bio, just in the biopod on a shelf, just with the fucking PD <laughs> read on. Just plug him in. Which works, because then they can go fix the body while he's sitting on the charger. <laughs> D and D sign, do not disturb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, with that... Magpie, what are you up to this week? Uh, probably, probably just making preparations for the heist, like looking into what kind of security they might have, just seeing if there's anyone around that would know any information. On, like, yep. 
Alright, uh, backslash, are you going with Magpie to go have a have a little gander? Yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> he wants money. I, I do really want money, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, 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 you can go, uh, you, you can go hustle if you want. Well, if you're gonna go hustle back, so I go to do that as well if you want. I, I would really like to hustle, yes. All if, right. I can, if I can at least, you know, I, I do need, you know, that pocketbook is light, real, real light. What? <laughs> ah. Damn your see-through. <laughs> All right, so Magpie, um, I guess Stealth Jack. Sure. That, um, that's to totally something I can do. Uh, it's something you can, in fact, do. Yeah. Roll a perception Hi, check. Rob. Oh boy. Well, Magpie, give me a perception check. <laughs> yep. But Magpie, you see uh, out here uh, on the uh, on the film set, uh, there is a, a few things that could be uh, up for some good scores here alongside the gun. Mm -hmm. You're feeling real, real. Uh, Feeling really, really adamant about it. Uh, of course, there is an iconic car that belong that belongs to the uh, cyber hacker. Yes, it, it <laughs> does what it says on the t uh, on the tin. Iconic car with a bunch of lights on it. Um, looks to be a, a Quadra model. We we could sell that for a lot of cash. We could. <laughs> But uh, it looks like uh, there is at least uh, four guards around the uh, around the uh, overhead uh, shelter. Then. Uh -huh. <clears throat> um, do you see the trailer where um, one of the main stars uh, ha uh, has the prop, uh, the iconic prop? Is. So if you want to go rummaging through there to find some uh, high dollar items. Maybe you could. But it looks like security personnel see uh, walking around with shotguns. Uh, also, uh, decent quality pistols. Okay. After a bit, you hear a pair of footsteps. You like what you see? Yeah, this is, this is really cool. I, I I didn't realize so many so much stuff goes into the filming of these shows. Great. Yeah. Well, they're using Haywood because of the pack and what. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm a big fan of. Uh, yeah, uh, one of the guards squat down. Oh. What are you doing over there? I I just heard the the movies were being filmed around here, and I want to come have a look, see if I could maybe get an autograph. Only we'll a persuasion check. Yeah. Guard seems that to be in a very chipper mood. <laughs> that. Uh, uh, social. Wait. Hmm. Definitely playing up the I'm just a young girl, what could I do kind of angle. <laughs> <laughs> you wait right there. Okay, sir. You can get up and uh, after about 30 minutes back with the fight poster. Uh, she will make her eyes light up. Thank you! Thank you so uh, much! Magpie, roll me uh, a trading check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> roll bullshit check. Trading. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, this is a this is a side poster by Marcel K. 
Marcel K uh, apps to be uh, the lead actor for this. And uh, one of these posters goes for about 500 bucks. Oh, nice. <laughs> Normally. Now, if it's signed, mm -hmm. this is this poster you can only get if you uh, are ever on set. If it's a signed mm -hmm. poster, it goes for a thousand. Ooh. <laughs> All right, kid. Uh, thank, thank you, sir. I I really appreciate that. Oh. Run along now. Don't need yes. no, anyone. You guys around. No, that that's all I wanted. Thank you. And she will take the poster and uh, skedaddle. Backslash. What you've been up to? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, what should we get into? Uh, is this a Netrunner or Media Hustle? Media? Alright, what rank media are you? Three! <laughs> so... Sorry, no, four. Excuse me, I am four. You're rank four? Okay, alright, so it's still the same. Still the same. But... Yeah. Yep. It's not until rank five it changes. Throw to wrote an, an expose that uh, covered a major topic and made a big sale on it. What might this expose be about that you've gathered up? Anything in mind? It would probably be a, like, an expose on a prop... How do I put this? Uh, what's the words? Um... Business entrepreneurship. How to set up and start LC, uh, you know, your own uh, your private startup you know, business and how to make it legal for the purpose of doing a variety of activities. I.e. something I'm recently familiar with, but the whole um, Bird Watchers Association. <laughs> how to hide some shady shit. How to hide some shady shit. What, what, what do you mean that this is a perfectly legitimate organization? And here's how you can do it, too. <laughs> I... So with that... Five million views on TubeTube. <laughs> on the garden? Wow. Uh, in fact, uh, backslash, uh, some other people keep reposting this, like, uh, some bigger influencers posting this, thinking... Look, a totally legit way to start your business. Check it out, guys. <laughs> and you're making 300 bucks this week off of it. Boom. Number four it's, will surprise you. It's, go, it's going under Ziggurat's <laughs> nose, even though you see some people trying to repost it or work it. It's just like, community notes, it's just like, this is not the actual author. This is the actual <laughs> author. You can, you can like something, you could follow something, repost it, but at least credit the original tube, guys, okay? That's that's the lesson here. I, I, I love watching community notes, so uh, on Twitter, just <laughs> violate people. Like, yeah, yeah by the way, this people. is bullshit. Yeah, I think there's a whole page about that. <laughs> and they've got a YouTube, I'm pretty sure. But... <laughs> that note, I imagine you guys are going to be gathering up at uh, the new now. I guess so. Days, uh, of course, you know, Claire has sent you out to go acquire this uh, blaster for Audrey. Oh. That note. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> and uh, Mike Powell also pointed out that there was a nice car on set that we might be able to make off with as well. If if we end up going loud. Hey, exit strategy is always good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do we have an idea how we want to do this though? I... that's the part I'm, I'm not too confident on. Uh... I... I... I, I talk my way around things. I'm, I'm not too great on the whole 
sealing things. I just, I just want to ask before I maybe, or maybe, or maybe not do something that you guys might have opinions about. Yeah, for the only one here who really has sticky fingers is me. Yes, uh, yes. As I was say, aren't you with sticky fingers? Well, what if we did the old uh, uh, magician's uh, trick? You know, look over here, not over here. Basically, cause a distraction. Well. Uh... Mm-hmm. What has your fan club been doing lately? Let me check, Thornton. You always make a few calls. That would be a, that would be a charismatic <laughs> impact check to rile up your fans to do something, which, I mean, life goes on. Mm -hmm. uh, for these guys. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of them are just like, I, I can't believe Thornton's now a full-on machine. He's bet he's gonna hit like an actual fucking truck nowadays. Bitch, I bet Thornton's made out of an actual truck at this point. <laughs> oh, spe speaking of fan club, I managed to get signed a uh, movie poster. Should be able to sell that for some Eddie. Cool. I want the names I go. <laughs> that dude's an asshole. I've worked with him before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Marcel K's a little full of himself. I mean, with good reason, you know, uh, pulling a lot of big time uh, scripts, but still. Yeah, Mag Magpie will essentially pass on the knowledge that she garnered during her uh, loitering, shall we say. <laughs> wow, committing loitering. What a fucking crime. <laughs> Do we want to have the crowd, or do we want to make a seat, uh, personal, or both? The easiest, the, the easiest thing with that I could kind of think of, Thor, is maybe, I mean, your fans haven't got a chance to see you since you've gone chrome. Yep. And that okay. could be quite the actual stun, and might even cause a commotion from certain people on set. It could also make things a lot harder for us, too, due to the nature of, you know, a impromptu gathering of such nature. Hmm. That being said, I don't think this is going to be very sneaky. <laughs> An eight foot tall uh, chrome dude. <laughs> Come on. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Okay. Magpie, you have the gun already? Sorry, what? Oh yeah, the you fake actually fake have gun. the fake gun. Yeah, do, do I have the replacement gun at this point? Yes, you do have, in okay. fact, the fake gun. Yes, yes, I do. Uh, for context, Diamond, how big is the gun? Would it so, fit into the secret compartment in my coat? Uh, it will not. Okay. It, it, it or, well, it's actually a head, uh, well, it's a pistol. So it's now I need to check is the gun mart overlord concealable? Yeah, because I always I'm asking because my dirt combat jacket allows me to hold two standard size clips of ammunition, it can be concealed in the jacket without a check. You call now, it I a imagine clip? this is a loop. Okay, well, I imagine this is bigger than a standard clip of ammunition, but magazines. <laughs> It, it doesn't I'm say in the book. reading it, what it, the it, item it, says. It, <laughs> don't yell at me because they didn't put magazine there, all right? <laughs> I know. I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> I, know, I know you are. She's not like, whoa, 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 time out. I didn't write this shit. <laughs> they're, ma they're called mags. They're ma uh, Yes, it is concealable, actually. Yes, it is concealable. It's just... A, sh a shitty, poor-quality handgun. <laughs> that just happens to look really, really good. Hey. But you are, Hollywood! But you are swapping out a prop gun for a real gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's... A shitty real gun, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I can conceal. In theory, if I can conceal the dirt, <laughs> I conceal the, the the fake gun on me with the dirt. And if you guys can cause a good enough um, 
event distraction kind of thing, considered a promo thing, maybe. I might be able to sneak in and out and just grab the gun and leave, and everything else is null and void. If that doesn't work and things go loud, uh, well, at that point, it's whatever we can get away with before uh, security shows up and tries to, you know, hurt us. Yep. Ish. Does, well, let's... Short, do you have any shows coming up? I haven't scheduled one yet. I know, I know it's going to be soon, but I, I wouldn't be fighting... Excuse me, I wouldn't be fighting in this body. But... I mean, we could start saying... We could start laying groundwork, sure. Maybe, uh... Well, I mean... Wrestlers and movies kind of go hand in hand. It's easy to say, oh, well, I'm here. I'm going to help you guys promote your shit. I'm going to promote my shit at the same time and kind of start setting that up. Okay. Do you need any extras today? That's true. <laughs> All right, let's see how big of a crowd we can actually pull in. And if we're going to do Before that. Before we do that, is there, at least we're trying to search in the garden or anything else. Are they hiring for extras? Is there anything going on? Is there any type of like <clears throat> media thing that they're doing or promoting through the garden or anything else about the shoot today? Uh, this evening, uh, there doesn't appear to be anything going, uh, on tonight. It seems to be a very, uh, like, if anything, like, the latest thing that was posted on, on the garden was a picture of Marcel, um, posing with the gun, uh, standing on top of the car, holding, uh, I, I don't know, generic, uh, uh, I, I don't big big product I, placement. Got uh, it. Product. It, very. It's very much product placement uh, tonight. Is what they're doing some shoots on. Okay. Well, there they were, there were at least. It's still shot. <laughs> Apparently, uh, you you do see on there from. How much would it cost to buy the prop gun? And you keep seeing in response. Oh, at least twenty thousand ads what the studio is asking for it. <laughs> Why buy it? We're only getting 10%. <laughs> <laughs> All right, haggle that one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're getting 40. Where are we at? I heard two grand. Was that two grand a pop or two grand total? Two grand a person. Okay. This job is going to be a little bit dangerous. <clears throat> yeah. Plus, they need to make money on it themselves, so. Okay. Um, who's going to go where then? I'm clearly uh, the distraction. Uh, uh, I, I'll, probably, I'll probably go with Backslash to maybe be able to talk our way out of things if need be. And I mean, I'm already a Thornton fan, so I'm like a bonus fan to be there to help with distraction. You, uh, I'll put my hand around you. You're a hype man. You, you, uh -oh. You're the one I count on the, the most. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm hyping you. <laughs> You're the hype man. I'm not just the hype man. Oh, oh, Confidence sorry, boost. I, I can negotiate pay up by 20% per person. <laughs> That'll work. Are you going to try to hassle Claire then? Uh, I, I might do when we actually have the gun. <laughs> just be like, uh,. Oh, we had to go through a lot of different supplies. Kind of took took us quite some effort. Oh, maybe can we negotiate up a little a little higher? <laughs> like I I know you got to make money, but come on, we put a lot of effort into this. <laughs> All right. Well, the only wait, wait, wait. magpie. The only way you know that is actually a, a good way to get in, like like a clear way to get in, is. Mm -hmm. But and like the rest of the areas, 
messy area is a perimeter off. It's a whole but they, they 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 set up over the top of a subway station at the moment. And so what uh, what you what you're saying is, Diamond, we need to go west. Yes. All right. Working off from underneath. Well, the thing is, uh, bulletin had been put out that that specific stop has been basically uh, like the disconnected. <laughs> well, not disconnected. You have to have a certain uh, pass to get off at that stop. If you get off, you gotta get on the next train. Who said anything about a train? Oh, we're doing that. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just saying that's, that's another that's another point of entry. Yeah, so you guys got two ways in. You got either the subway system, the main gate, and you guys could possibly make a third way in if you want. Question, what's the time frame we need to get the gun by? Uh, hopefully by sun, hopefully by uh, tomorrow, uh, at, at, by the end of the... Two. No, because the subway there just made me think if we, you know, maybe did something or hacked part of the uh, local network there and reconnect it. Oh, just start letting come. people off. Uh huh. Well, they, 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 yeah. Yeah. No pass needed though. It basically, we're just going to remove the pass thing from the equation. Okay, it would actually add a lot of uh, foot traffic and could help cause a discur uh, a. a, a Distraction if you utilize a higher traffic time of the subway. People not paying attention or anything else, that autopilot mode people sometimes get into. Well That's where the that's where the fans come in too. Because they will have themselves intentionally get off. Well, it's almost the commuting hour. Uh so uh backslash if you want to go find a uh end cart uh control box. Uh, at your local end cart station, or you guys are totally game to go uh, make that happen. It was a thought I just got because of the subway, so I, I don't know necessarily if it's a good one, but I mean it's a possibility. Hundred percent correct. What do you guys think? Well, it's a distraction that doesn't split the party, so I mean that's. Yeah. Probably a good thing. I'm up for it. Just do yeah, it. <laughs> All right, so off to the end cart station then. All right. So that, as you guys are heading over. Uh, to... I mean, it, it seems to be going against the idea of stealth if we're going in with all the fans, but... Stealth by blending in with uh, the audience. But that's the thing. Do we get on the train, or do we walk up from the maintenance line, and then them play with, with everybody getting off on the stop be the distraction that keeps them from looking at the maintenance areas? But we stay away from the train. Yeah, that's what, kind of what I was thinking. We go in with everyone else, it is hiding in plain sight, okay? However, a bunch of people coming out of the train areas, we might immediately get um, kind of mm -hmm. pinned down, as it were. So if it's possible to hack it but not go in that way, that would probably be the better the better option here. Okay. Is there an access way for the maintenance? So... I don't know. I'm, let me do, let me do some searching around the garden to see what I can find to see if there's even a possibility. Yeah, library, sir. <laughs> so backslash. Nice. Not so much are you looking on the garden, but you're looking through the back pages of the city net. You find uh, a couple of net runners uh, having a conversation. This took place uh, at some point in 2043. Hey, have you ever tried the end cart hack? The end cart hack? Yeah. Where you go out to an end cart station, go find the control box, and their nets are uh, kind of shit. So, get in there and you can change which station you get to. You can even uh, change the direction of the train if you want to. Hmm. 
I really wish you didn't say the last thing, Diamond. <laughs> oh no. I got a great idea, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm, yep, I'm, I'm gonna hack the end card terminal. I got an idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yep. Yep. I'm, the less you know, the better. Great song. <laughs> uh, does any of that though give me uh, pretty much? Can I find some schematics, general idea of where I would go to accomplish that thing, or do I need to be pretty much at the terminal underneath uh, the set? Uh, you can go to any end card station, uh, because, uh, mo uh all, all the ones in Haywood are pretty much connected. Uh, sh showing on here, this uh, appears to be, uh, unless you are in, like, one of the really nice parts of the city where each send it, most other parts of the city, <laughs> they're kind of jury rigged together. Okay. Well, we're probably going to want to be the next stop up when you do it. That way, then, we can roll right on right there. Oh yeah, I, would, I don't want to. I don't recommend being on the train. Actually, no, 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 no. But just however we're traveling to it, you know, you set your trap and you roll. Agreed. What are you doing, backslash? You said I could redirect almost any line there, right? Well, I mean, it, it basically, it, you indicate which way the train needs to go. Oh. So, you, you got you said you got there, didn't you? Well, uh, yeah. I, 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 I want to make that the direct station all trains start to move to. Oh, no. reverse tracks, reverse lines. <laughs> Every train wants to come here to unload. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. That's the plan. All right, so. <laughs> That case, then, uh, give me a, uh, for anyone from Haywood, give me a local expert check. Sure. Not I, so Education. You, you know it, culture nerd. You, you know it. So, <laughs> backslash. You know yes. the exact train station you need to go to before you hit this uh, this one. You know the Excellent. exact place. But Trust I, me, Chumbas. I know uh, where we need to go. How, how is this working out? So you, you guys arriving with Zach on car, or you all getting on the train, or how is this working out? We could just... I mean, if you guys want to take the car, it's fine. We can take public transit most of the way. I'm... I should probably take the car anyway. <laughs> for, the, for the time being. I gotta get used to this anyway on, on what kind of looks I'm gonna be in, so. Would, would you fit in the car? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Rockland, so yeah. they, they would give me a car that I need. Right, I, I misunderstood. I, I thought you were talking about the car, taking the car <laughs> that's there. <laughs> We can go that route, that's fine. We, if you want, we just stay together and take the car. I'm okay with that. Yeah. No, no, no sense splitting the group yet. Yeah, yep. and then, and then when we get there, uh, those two go in the front and we sneak around the back. Um, mm -hmm. Backslash, just to show you kind of what the end cart boxes look like in the old, er, in the combat zones and uh, the. Uh, Overpacked suburbs. Just oh, look no. at Jock and Odd General. You got lost. <laughs> yeah. I've worked on that before. That's no fun. Oh, goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just so you know, I, I have too worked on that in a server room before. Doing, uh, it, it, yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Yep. Well, at least the nice thing about that is I can tell people from here is that groupings are actually tagged with numbers and identifying markers already, whether how much that's rubbed off or not is irrelevant. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. So, Rats nest. Got it. Well, uh, 
We'll go ahead and fast forward then to backslash arriving at Encart Station 43. 45 is where the studio is at. Not to be mistaken with N54. Anyway, uh. <laughs> we don't talk about Studio 44. Oh no. <laughs> Ruby Funky Network 52? No? No one get that reference? Okay. All right. Well, backslash, you arrive here and uh, give me a perception check. Well, there is a guard who is currently busy uh, dealing with kids who are uh, spray painting on, uh, you know, one of the other trains. So, other than that, uh, the the other security personnel do not seem to be around. It looks like it's a, just a one guard station. No so, cameras. Uh, there are cameras and there is a turret, but the turret <laughs> doesn't seem to be responding to anything. If you take uh, care of the electronics, I can take care of this dude. Dream. I will go uh, slinking away into the shadows and start scanning for. Uh, I'm, I'm, at, I'm guessing the, the the access points at the control box, but I at least want to be sure. All right. Give me scanner interface check. <laughs> Nothing yet where you're at. Probably need to move move around. Looking. I will continue to do that. Make sure the antenna's actually up and not being bent. To get the Wi-Fi on. Alright. Uh, Thornton, what are you up to? Thornton is when, uh, when you you're ready, I'm going to walk over to the guy and I'm gonna put him in a headlock. Uh oh. <laughs> and then drag him, drag him in the uh, out of the way area. So I'm gonna gonna grab him, uh, grapple him. Okay, so you wait until backslash is like connected before you do that or something. Once, once it looks like he's ready to go, because I don't know on when the cameras and and all <laughs> that's gonna pop. Uh, so give him a, give him a chance to at least find the point and plug in and then I'm going to go over there and lock them up. All right. Well, uh, backslash, give me another, uh, give me another, uh, scanner. <laughs> Words, yes. Words. Roll things. Roll the hit the, hit the words. buttons. <laughs> words. Many, many words. All right, backslash. There is a, uh, there is a uh, control box inside the uh, o- inside an office that's uh, that the door has been left open. I don't mind if I do. Smells like uh, stale kibble and uh, also uh, like air conditioning in here. Uh, Very bad air conditioning, though. Oh. A slight burnt smell to it. Uh, mm, bad condenser. Unit needs to be cleaned. All right. <laughs> Jack and Emma. Uh, yep. All right. What's your jacked in? Anything you want to do before you get started on this password? Uh, well, I'd like to activate a few programs. Go ahead. Activate my worm. We're going to activate my SIA. And I will activate... Uh... Worms, see ya, and I'll just do my Pathfinder check now. Okay. Roll me Pathfinder.
What do you see? Yes. There's a password. <laughs> Ice. Ice. Scroll node. By the way, there's an imp floating around in here. Two ice. <clears throat> and uh, c two more control nodes after that. Okay. That's your map. Thank you. Go ahead, feel we, free we, to get started. <clears throat> Would you say the imp is called Baby? I uh, I will I will roll the back door check. I don't get the reference. I, I'm smooth brain. Ice ice baby. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a second. <laughs> I didn't think you I was trying not to say now. anything, okay? I, I just I was like, I've heard that so oh. <laughs> oh. Alright, yes, you, you, you do clear the, 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 the back door, Jack. It, it's a very very default password that's probably in a rotation of passwords that uh NCART uses for these terminals. Okay. That's my second action this turn, I'm gonna activate my cloak. Okay. I basically, I, 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 I want to, I, I'm going to try to slip past all the black guys. I don't want to get here in, in, in a all long, right. drawn-out battle, so that uh, is uh, my plan. And the last thing I'm activating is my speedy. Yeah, and we'll, we'll keep rolling with you. Uh, remember, speed checks always first when you enter a floor. Yep. So go ahead and roll me your interface. All right, backslash, a snake gets ya. And let's see what uh, programs I get to bite here. Uh, as you, uh, I make impact. Let's see, where is your... Where's your shirt? Am I looking at the wrong... Uh... My, it's under new CNU group. It's backslash. That's all I can really tell you because I don't get to see what you see. Ah, I am dumb. All right, there we go. I have found it. Okay. So, backslash. Your, uh, your eraser breaks. All right. So you want to just uh, speed away uh, then? Backslash. Uh, if possible, you. Go ahead. Yeah. Got garbage perception, so go ahead. Roll me. Uh, roll me your slide. One of those net running days. Cool. Ah, uh, one of those days. All right, you still have mm -hmm. some more net actions if you need to. Sword. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, sword. Got it. One. All right, nine uh, damage. All right, very nice. Ten. Oh, 10 damage. All right. Anything else? Uh, zap. All right. Your turn. Yes, it is my turn. I, and I, uh, roll an attack of six. <laughs> this is your defense. I break your worm program. Okay. 
that's getting expensive. <laughs> Asps, the non-lethal way of saying, get the fuck out of my net. Yep. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Uh, uh, they, they, they sound like a real pain in the ass. They are. Lord. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh backslash i'm so sorry go go Don't ahead worry. I, I i i've had enough easy dives that it this shouldn't be that hard but it's going to be oh, that's called karma happens. <laughs> yep all right uh, we'll, we'll try a zap all right actually okay got one more in you i don't know let's find out it's dead the asp is now dead Jesus fucking <laughs> Wait, Bart Moss. What what what's wrong with you? Did I not update you last night? <laughs> machine okay. spirit is angry. The machine spirit is very angry, yes. Uh, <laughs> Do you need me to order you new programs? Yes. Do I need to go through that same tech that you got them from last time? Electric Eddies. Yes, that would be great. Thank you. Sending a message. Uh, I'll keep an open tab until we complete this net run. Oh, no. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> your agent, your agent's got a little bit of sass, and you just hear from Giga. <laughs> Come on, man. It's It was just a little ass. <laughs> Let it break your, your stuff like that? No, oh, actually, I should probably shut up because you're trying to be quiet. My bad. At that point, I'm going to roll up on the guard. All right, uh, go ahead and roll brawling. Just hear this guy just chewing Snake. out. You don't understand. You need to respect my authority, you fuckers. Little tiny ass fuckers. Like spraying shit on people's trains. Go ahead and roll me brawling. Come on. There we go. We go through. Fuck it, Cyber Psycho! Someone call the cops! I'll shout from the office. Right. Audit! <laughs> Do it again. Alright. Uh, grapple is a uh, rate of fire one. Uh, one. Wow. All right. Well, lawman ability doesn't go off. Go ahead, Thornton. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh. <laughs> All right. Got the grapple. All right. So every subsequent, every subsequent turn that he's in the grapple, he's going to take body. Damage. How much body my do you body have? Is, my body is ready. It's 14. Oh my God. So he's oh just taking a flat 14 <laughs> for every every bone right. that he's grappling. So nine to try to get out of your grasp. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! That's, that's, that's a tie. It's still nine. Yeah. Uh, that's a uh, eleven. Go. Yeah, it's eleven. You still win. Eleven. 11. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. good. Okay, right. so that's 14. Uh, <laughs> you, you try to struggle out with a 13. Oh. See, the kids that's are looking at you in horror as this is going on. Oh. Well, good night. He's out. Yep, he's now uh, completely unconscious. And I drag him into I'll drag him to the back office. Kids are shrieking, running out of the out of the subway tunnel. Can I try and calm the kids down? Just be like, it's okay, he's fine. It's fine. Don't tell anyone. Shh. I because I assume they're young children. They're probably in their teens. I mean they're 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 taking okay. off Zephyr. Okay, well then I guess I won't stop him. Like I'll try and be like, oh, okay, bye. Yeah, they 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 gone. 
<laughs> Damn, they should have been gone. Kids, you need therapy. No, welcome. <laughs> You'll need it a lot. Oh my god. Alright, backslash. How you doing? Oh, not great, but we're gonna continue going anyways. Alright, let's do another uh, speed check then. Oh boy. Backslash. You're getting hit by a wisp. So not only do you lose one net action next round, you're taking two damage. Okay. Activate armor, attack with sword. Oh, okay. All right. All right, that hits a significant amount of damage. Now, it started it. Wisp's turn. <laughs> 13 to hit. All right, you defend. Your turn. <laughs> you now have all your actions back. Sword. <laughs> all right, 11 beats nine. Zap. <laughs> All right, that's three more damage. Anything else? Another zap. It's dead. <laughs> okay. Next control. Uh, next thing down is the control node, I believe. Yes. Uh, you currently have an imp uh, that's uh, prepping the turret, but uh, is. Uh, Roll the cameras as well. You want to take the cameras from the amp. There's a lot of thought no, gears turning in your head. <laughs> yeah, there, there is. Uh, I'm assuming the turret actually has a firing arc on Thornton. Yep. And needs the cameras to see that? Probably. I don't want to fight the fucking imp. I mean, it's just an imp. Not a real person this time, you think? I'll make poor. I'm just going to keep making poor life choices today. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the cameras from the imp. All right, uh, roll me a control check. Let's see what 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 the imps have? Oh, wow! They they got shit for interface. Fuck. All right, go ahead. Roll me uh, your interface check. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> it looks like you're not having yep. it right now. Oh, I'm so sorry. The Thornton, where it's are fine. you? Where are you putting the body, by the way? Uh, hide him in the back office. I mean, like the, the station office or something like that. All just right. So get him out of the way. Backslash, you just got uh, Thornton putting it, just coming in here with a body. But Thornton, I'm going to fire. That's going, and are you going to, are you able to evade? Oh, yes, I am. You Do you have, do you have reflex eight in that body? Mm-hmm. It, it was whatever my reflex was or whatever it's upgraded to. My reflex and dex oh, were already shit. eight. Really? Yeah. I thought your body yeah. determined it. Okay. All right, you're able to get out of the way as this big armor-piercing bullet uh, flies past you. All right. Aha! So, uh, what, are you stuffing this guy into a locker or something? I don't know. Does the, the kill prompt activate when I throw him in there? I mean, probably not kill him. He's just probably going to go unconscious from being it. But you're putting it, well, he's unconscious. He's probably just he's stuck inside a locker. Dude, that's that's fine. Him. Yep. Fucking birds. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Backslash. No, do not give him a swirly culture. That's how you drown people. Pulls pants down before I put him in. 
Alright. What's he up to, Backslash? As, as Thornton's in the office, I'm just going to tell him to destroy, destroy the turret. I'm just going to wipe the system when we're done. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to spend the time to continue fighting with the, with the imp. I'm going down. Alright, you're going down? Alright, speed checks versus a scorpion and a raven. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Backslash. It's fine. Alright, so you defend against the scorpion, but does the raven get you? Raven does get you. Do you you have, have rolled so many tens today. Please I know. continue. Sorry. Hey, nice armor program. It's gonna get turned off. Okay. It's just derez. You can, you can, uh, you know, turn it off and then turn it back on. Take some time to do it though. Though. All right. Go ahead, backslash. Your turn. <laughs> I'd like to slide away if possible. Okay. <sighs> Sounds good. Check something here real quick. Because I can't not remember. Ah, Ogre is giving you guys three more plus twos. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. And... I am going to use one of those plus twos. All right. That now becomes 11. I am really terrible today. <laughs> so I got to beat 11. All right. All right, you lose the scorpion. All right, the raven is going to continue to tail you. Oh, also ravens do damage. That's right. But from that last attack that got you backslash, uh, what fiddly one damage. Your okay. armor probably would have stopped it before it got shut off, so. Okay. All right, so it's you and that raven yet. And I'm going to attack the raven. Okay. Oh. Yeah, oh. Oh, it, it, the raven's gone. The raven is gone. Reactivate armor. All right, take time to reactivate your armor. All right, Thornton, what are you up to? How how far up into this is the ceiling mounted? Like a like a About turn down? Twenty or? meters. Twenty meters up on the ceiling. Okay, so not something to be able to reach by hand, so boomerang, boomerang. All right. Roll to hit. First one, and the second one. All right, so that second boomerang does some significant amounts of damage uh, to the uh, turret. Not enough to destroy it. However, the turret, uh, the demon is not happy with you sh throwing shit at it. It's going to fire back at you, Thornton. All right, 22 okay. to hit. Oh, uh, evade. All right, you're out of the way. I am Back a fuck. <laughs> Pass the raven, pass the scorpion. So we got that demon to deal with. Control, node. control nodes. Uh, this one's this one's for the turret. Okay. Uh, what's the control node past this then? Uh, the brain controls, which is also held by the demon. Now I'm going to wrestle control from the from this person. Take I need the train controls. You want the train controls? All right. I want the train controls. And I'm going to use one of those plus twos. All right. You now have the train controls. But the demon can always reset those train controls after you leave. I know. One problem at a time. All right. 
Phil, what are you doing? I am going to take the time to uh, basically start rerouting all trains to, uh, I believe it's Station 45. Yep. The, the, the place underneath there. Yep. Uh, I will, though, keep safety protocols in place but I'm going to prevent some of them so trains can still hop on the same line. I'm just not gonna let them crash into each other. Okay. Okay, I may be a monster, but I still have a heart. For now. For now, for now. <laughs> but no, I, 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 want, I definitely want this to, I, I realize like, he's going to take the time to set this up in a way that is going to cause a major train congestion, but he's not doing it, so I'm going to cause the biggest train incident in Night City ever. That's not the goal here. Okay. I'm just funneling everyone to that station. All right. So... When that's done, I'll, I'll go fight the imp. All right. Magpie, Zephyr, you guys also going to engage the turret as well? Extra magpie, you have means to deal with that, don't you? Do I? Don't you have a flare gun with grenades? I mean, yeah. Well, that do, might do, do we want to go that loud? loud? Do we want to go that loud? <laughs> Fair enough. But it, actually, your, your art thrower be able to point up. Would your art thrower be able to read that? I mean, it's technically a shotgun blast, so... Uh, it actually, you'd probably have to get up on top of a train. On top of the train. Or... For it. Gordon, puppies! Yeah, I... I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> sure. There you go! Uh... <laughs> I, I have faith in my companions. I'll just be taking cover behind this big, solid piece of cover right here. <laughs> uh, Zephyr, you gonna attack the turret as well, or what's up? I'll take a shot at it at okay. least and see. Let's. I'll. I'll just shoot one of my like basic arrows at. It. I'm not gonna. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, that will miss. Darn. Yeah, so I'll, I'll shoot at it and then I'll like see if I can like get behind something. Cause all right, I Thornton. Yeet one, yeet two. <laughs> well, the the turret's just now destroyed. So, imp's turn and backslash. Uh, prepare to be uh, zapped. Okay. Eleven to hit. That hits. Six damage. And okay. it's going to try to take control back of the uh, control node. Oh. Oh. Negative two. 13 for keeping control. All right, your turn, backslash. Lord. Depends. Zap. Hmm. Defends. All right. And zap. All right. It's turn. Going to try to take control from the uh, of the control node. A, a six. All right. Uh, Fourteen. Zap. Eleven. Negative one. I don't know. I think that hits uh, for four damage. <laughs> Your turn, backslash. Board. Go on, backslash. Come on, you. you you, you got this BS? There you go. Full damage. 2d6 for the amp, right? So it doesn't count as... Uh, <clears throat> no, uh, it does eight, count? Eight, okay. Yeah. Minus 8. Alright. Uh, Zap. Okay. Let's see it. 
<laughs> Actually, cool. Get a perfect zap. All right. Four damage. It's turn. It's going to just zap you and then try to take control. All right. Eight to hit. That will hit. Gosh, it's been back and forth between backslash, like backslash. Your nose is probably bleeding a bit. Uh, armor's take uh, armor's eating all the zaps. Are you kidding me? Wait, no. Thought, God damn. <laughs> I took the time to reactivate it. That's right. <laughs> yep. Damn. <laughs> I, I, there's I, a reason. Oh. There's a reason why you never leave home without your armor program. Demons, why are you so fucking piddly uh, in your way to defend yourselves? <laughs> Holy fuck. Because they're not meant to be able to defend themselves. They're meant to, like, run turrets. Run... I know, but you didn't think, like, a Balron or a... Or a... Anyway, uh, go, go, go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to take control of the node uh, with a 10. All right, go, go ahead, Backslash. Sword. <laughs> All right, the imp is dead, and you have room to control a virus. One. Ah, uh, white camera feed for the last hour. All right. Are you gonna save some kids? Also, uh, fucking ticket from the city. If uh, yep. even issue tickets for vandalism nowadays. <laughs> oh. So, with that, you uh, planted the virus and <clears throat> just here. Next stop, Station 45. Haywood, Rancho, Border. Fuck yeah. When the virus is done, I'm getting the hell out of here. And you all can see on the train maps, every train is going to Station 45. Every train is at there right now. <laughs> oh god, that, that's going to end up with a massive pileup. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I at least put security measures in. They shouldn't actually hit each other. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. <laughs> shouldn't. All right, so you guys are on your way out to uh, the, the film set then? Yep. yep. Right, Agent, confirm you. order. What's up? Agent, <laughs> confirm order. Confirming order. <laughs> All right, so you'll have to take it out of your uh, out, of, out of your account. Buy one, get uh, get one half off uh, for all uh, your needs over at Continental Brands. Buy one, get the second full price. <laughs> All right, so that you guys are on your way out to uh, the studio, and we'll take a quick break here. All right, that'll let, let me take my my call real quick. All right, but y'all, yeah, don't wait for me. Uh, want to come back? No worries, no worries. We'll, we'll be taking a moment here. All right. So, today's episode has been brought to you by the bet. Has been, has, it has been brought to you to, <coughs> words, why, why are words hard? Okay, today's episode is, 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 is trying guys. Today's sponsors are Lion Banner Games, Studio Agate, Free League Publishing, Sirenscape, Fantasy Grounds, Modiphius, and Loki Battle Maps. Thank you all for all you do over here at this channel. And uh, I am so sorry I keep fumbling it up. Like, oh. Gosh. So why are words hard? Because the English language is, is not a language, it's three languages in a trench coat pretending to be one.
So, uh, also, uh, Sasha, I, I, I might be getting another fall, I might be getting a, a Fallout experience, finally. Ooh, ooh, excited. Um, I, I'm just kind of deciding which one I want to get next. Also, they're coming out with a starter set for Fallout as well. Ooh, nice. It'd be nice to actually have some uh, adventures to run rather than basically having to come up with things. I mean, there's an adventure <laughs> in the back of like the uh, Fallout book, but yeah, there, there's an adventure. <laughs> like, I, I, I'd love for there to be like a uh, something that offers up <laughs> ideas for adventures. Uh huh. So, with that in mind, though. Yeah. I need to go pee. I'll be right back. Alright. Bye. Are you tired of your boring life? Well, I am too. Come on down to the House of Amaze, where we have amazing deals to give you uh, nowadays, including the Mr. Amaze Achievement Program, where you too can earn achievements for completing uh, big milestones in your life, graduating college, or visiting the uh, Arasaka Ground Zero for the bomb. I'm, I'm sorry, we were well, live. <laughs> I have not seen the new Fallout show yet, uh, Nick. For anyone who might be wondering where this music's from, this is Carl Casey who does copyright free music uh, for, uh, well, haters like me. I think it's really cool. Like, all, all the stuff he makes is copyright free. <laughs> that is, in fact, some, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the kids call it nowadays. <laughs> so, Sasha, I had a very dystopian thought, though. Oh? You go to your apartment to go use the elevator. You go to your mega building just to discover that they've replaced the elevators with uh, pay a fee for how much weight you're bringing onto the elevator and how far up you're going. <laughs> Every time. Not like a big fee, but like, you know, it's a dollar here, it's uh, $5 there, uh -huh. $10 if you and the crew are going up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's no different than paying outrageous fees for parking. 
Yeah, now if you really want to make it dystopian, you you also put like coin activation on the doors to the stairs as well. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Eddie, coin activated flush mechanisms. You want to use the public bathroom? Sure. You just gotta pay for it. Oh, I mean, don't don't, they don't do joke. that already. Yeah, they they do that already. You I know. Need to pay to get into certain public I mean... bathrooms. Personally, if it's, you know, to help upkeep the maintenance of the bathroom, I mean, I'm all for it. I'm sorry, am I in the wrong here? <laughs> I just, you know, put things out there. I mean, like, okay, so out here in the Midwest, Ock, I don't know if you, if, if this is a thing, or, or, like, or, or like, I don't know if anybody else, but... It used to be that, you know, because we all had to pay our own water bill, that, you know, you'd uh, leave a quarter on the toilet every time you use someone else's bathroom. Heard of people doing that? I've never, like, done that, but I've heard of it. Out in the East? Yes. Out here, uh, like, in the West, I've never... Uh, no, not anymore. Okay. I have heard that though, like living in like the south and more really water destitute areas, I familiar with that. But I'm also familiar with more of the uh, mm, if it's brown, flush it down. If it's yellow, let it settle. Oh gosh. Um. Oh, this is like a, if you're in the city, Nick. We'll give we'll give Jack a moment to get here. That dive cost me two hundred eddies. You know, I wonder. You think it would be out of line for Continental Brands to advertise to Netrunners? Try, uh, dig a. Or like what? Uh, something, something nuggets. Or I, I'm trying to think what the product is in 2077 that gives you like more RAM. Um, <laughs> like some consumable that gives you more RAM. Pull down on it. But it's just like you know, great snack for while you hack or some shit like that. Yeah, RAM nuggets, Emron. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> Everyone, that's Emron, uh, one of my fellow co-creators uh, over on the Wireheads podcast. Which, uh... Oh, I guess... By the way, Rob, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to make note of it. If you uh, have questions, uh, we, we announced it last night over on our channel. Uh, our channel, effectively. But if you over at CNU have questions for James Hutt, uh, you folks of the community have questions for let me know. And we'll uh, pick these up when we uh, have an interview with James Hutt here very soon. So, yeah, if you got questions, let us know. What's it like working with Gray? Well, I, I, I sat down for like one interview with Jay Gray. Seems like a pretty chill guy. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know much about him personally, but... Seems nice enough. All right. So I think on that note. Oh. Where is. All right. Been on break for under five minutes, I think. So, we'll go ahead and get started at the top of the here. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, currently, uh, Jack is away uh, with a uh, business call at the moment. That's okay. These things happen. So, with that in mind, you guys are on your way to Studio 45. 
So, backslash. Just start seeing all over the garden. Hey, why is my train going this way? Yo, end cart, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm trying to go to Watson here. Why am I going to Rancho Coronado? <laughs> I hope my husband's okay. He's on a train heading towards Rancho Coronado. We live up in New Westbrook. <laughs> Just see it one of three piece. There better be a good reason why the train's going the wrong fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why can I just imagine Backslash wore one of those cheesy mugs that just says Chaos, Panic, and Disorder. My work here is done. <laughs> Alright. So, you guys, as you guys arrive to the studio, you're... Uh, <laughs> what, what do you guys think of doing to get into... Or on, onto the film set? Because it's fenced off with, uh, with, barb, with barbed wire and razor wire around the top. Sneaking in from the west? You said that was the... That's where the main approach. entrance is. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know if you, had, if you guys had something else in mind. I think sneaking around and trying to get in from like the easy entrance <laughs> makes the most sense. I expect it to be a lot... I would guess it would be a lot easier with all the extra traffic coming from the subways. <laughs> okay. So if that's what you, you know, if, if that's what Magpie found out, let's let, let definitely just continue with that plan. <clears throat> yeah, unless I find like another kind of easy, like unguarded entrance, which I doubt at this point. <laughs> well, I swear if you guys are going to be able to get around the combat on this one, I, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, with that. I mean, the whole point was to avoid combat and replace it without anyone noticing. It's about 7.30 p.m. And you see people start spilling up and out of the subway stairs. Just And you see, like, security personnel moving towards the stairs. Like, no, you gotta go the other way! <laughs> Yell, just yelling at them to turn back, but, like, they're, 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 they're coming out. <laughs> There's nowhere back there, uh, apart yeah. from like piles of trains. Uh, there, there, there. So there's trains. at least twelve trains down there, and probably a couple more on the way yet. Loaded with commuters trying to find their way home. They're all ending up in a part of the city that they don't even recognize. <laughs> How's it feel, oh, no. slash? <laughs> Now you've got yourself a nice little extra media scoop for the day as well. To make a few extra bucks. Uh, I saw the security oh jack someone from the subway. Be careful. Dead. Oh my god. Are, are you going to write an article on the <laughs> on end cart after you were the one that fucked everything up? I, with everything going on at the garden at the moment, I will literally add to the fire by putting some posting things of like, I watched security jack someone from the subway. You know, uh, hey, you know, be care uh, be careful. They're up to some sketchy shit. Don't let you know, don't listen to them. Like, I I'm going to fan the flames of the paranoia and the confusion oh, of the masses. <laughs> oh, God. Give me a base believability check. <laughs> you got it. I swear if this works. I mean, while it is fuel, adding fuel to the fire, it's not like... It, it, it's now just more hearsay that's getting piled in on every, every everyone else's talk. But, <coughs> you guys want to roll stealth to kind of meander your way in then? Yep. Sure. All right, you guys yeah. will be coming in from the uh, west uh, barricades over here. Uh, and as you guys look, it's a pretty open set. It looks like uh, they were getting ready to do like a uh, like a, a fight at an intersection, is what it looks like. I'm going to use a plus oh, two from oh chat. Yep. Uh, oh Zephyr, you do have two. Oh boy. <laughs> Well, we're, we have two. Cry. We have two ones, so 
<laughs> I'm guessing we're gonna have no rerolls. <laughs> well, Magpie, you're able to slip your way into uh, the the mass, but after a bit, Security's like, "Hey, you two, no, you get out, go away, stop coming in here." Look at Zephyr. Gotta go. We can't go back. We gotta go somewhere. Well, you, you go out the gate that you just came from. There's so many oh. people there. My bad. My bad. We'll try to sneak in from the north. Follow me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. We'll come back. Get out of here. Dan looks absolutely harried at the sight of just all the people. <laughs> like there is a good. 300 people <laughs> spilling out of the subway at this point. You got everything from uh, booster gangers to suits to other odd and end folks. You know, let, let's see if... Let me go grab 20 people off the Night City subway and see just if we have any particulars that show up off the subway. Do you want to know? I'm, I'm... In the midst of all this crowd, you see it. All of you see it. The orange traffic cone. On the guy's head. <laughs> it's the return of Cone Man. Hey, you everyone's what? showing up today. You, you, you know, I'm tempted to start dropping, like, baggies of drugs to kind of sow extra chaos. <laughs> what are you dropping? Uh, I'm going to drop uh, four things of candy, five things no, of synth not. coke, and five things of blue glass. <laughs> All right. Guys, Just in various places. You guys are a menace. I hope you know that. <laughs> Thank you. Magpie, what's your yes. luck score? Uh, what is my luck score? Your maximum <laughs> luck score? Uh, six. Wait one sec. Let me go roll a d100 now. <laughs> Just kind of here in the midst of it. Oh, yeah, baby! Free drugs! Oh, I uh, think you cut out there a bit, Diamond. Yeah, that's fine. That That's fine. <laughs> well, people are getting, uh, there's people getting on the drugs. <laughs> which, uh, all candy does is it increases your social ability and your libido. But after about, uh, six hours, you if you don't pass the save, you just kind of just, <laughs> just go out, just <laughs> the big sleep <coughs> free drugs <laughs> and uh well I guess in that case then Zephyr and Backslash you guys can go ahead and roll again with uh a plus one because of how chaotic the, the scene is getting <laughs> uh I, I've been rolling backup rolls for the, the security <laughs> operatives and they, they keep rolling tens and it's like guys come on <laughs> there we go all right. So, uh, Magpie, you're mm -hmm. showing up. Uh, where where are you heading to? Are you heading to the trailer? Uh, are you I'm heading he to? I'm heading to to where the, the gun is. All right. So the prop shop over here. <clears throat> yep. Okay. But we we want to get the big payday before we worry about the smaller things. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, you guys turned a dangerous job into not dangerous real real quick. Dangerous. You're welcome. <laughs> All it takes is a judicial application of trains and drugs. Trains and drugs. Man, Audrey Norfolk would be proud. Uh, <laughs> one, one, one of our fellow VTubers we know. Yep. It, he is they a say, train man. We, we ran a train on the situation? <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, so as you guys uh, make, make your way in, Zephyr and Backslash, where are you guys heading towards? Uh, the guys, uh, you heading towards the actor's trailer? Are you heading towards the car? What are you feeling? Actor's trailer. Sure, let's I go mean, there. Ba Backslash right. has got the gun, so <laughs> yep. we, we need uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, because the uh, prop shops in here is likely where the gun is. Yeah. To head to the prop that, shop. All right. That that would be the that would be the golden. Looks like there's a card reader on the door. You just start hearing people get out of the set. Oh. Right, go ahead and roll me electronic. 
backslash. I'm gonna bust this open. Well, it's open. <laughs> uh, lucky paperclip. This is, this is a secure serve model 833. It can be opened with a secure serve model 833 or a paperclip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we head in and get the gun, and swap it Wait, out for the. Check your safe. Uh, is it the jump? Yeah. Is it... Anyway, care safe. What what else Check is safe. in here? Right? Curiosity. Well, in here you find uh, well some costumes. Uh, you find uh, also a. Uh, so uh, apparently the product placement, uh, you find uh, what looks like um, one of the things with Cyber Hacker, one of the plots here, is that there is uh, there is an android woman that's the love interest. You do find the android. Oh. Like a a body or like it, it, a. It, 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 look, it looks like it's a. It looks like a body. It looks like it's just guys sitting there being a prop. Roll me a perception. Is this like check. an FB, Is this an FBC or? Roll me a perception check. <laughs> uh, da, da. Blah. Both of you guys have found, or you guys have found a Raven Micro Cybernetics Gemini, being uh, just held here. Uh, so, male or female? Uh, we don't know what's actually inside the husk. Uh, it, lo it looks like the female chassis, but you, uh, outside of that, you don't. Yeah, know. that <coughs> that that was the question. Is yeah. it male or female chassis? It, it's hey, female Thornton, chassis. you you ever you ever wonder what it's like to be on the other side? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think Thornton's uh, still busy. <laughs> oh, keep, we will keep note of that. Is there? We see the 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 gun, uh, the prop, the case of it, in kind. Uh, backslash, you do find uh, the, the the gun. It, okay. It, it, and the Overlord hand cannon does, in fact, look like this gun. They literally took an Overlord hand cannon, dearmed it, and made it into a big blaster gun. And I guess we swap out the gun then, as long as there's no like security measures on it. I at least want to check for that real quick. I don't imagine yep, there uh, is, no, but it's it's just kind of sitting there on the table. Uh, I'm gonna try to make note of the way it's sitting. Okay. And swap them and make sure the you know the replacement guns in the exact same like position, way settled the same way. What kind of tech check do you want to do to make this happen? Mm. Or, or concentration. Or concentration could work too if you want that. I mean, it's not a. Uh, <clears throat> the only tech check I could kind of maybe think to recommend concentration would be a good one is film photography because I'm trying to replace and set something and make it look the exact same way. I'll allow, and that I, is a tech roll. I will allow film photography if you want, or you can do concentration. Either or. I'm going to use my film photography, and I'm going to use two points of luck. All right. So you take so that's a, a 22. So you take a picture of what it looks like. Then you swap it out, and it's a pert, and you're able to get it set. But Magpies, you step closer, and did you make that comment out loud to Thornton? Yes. He's here. One hand on my fucking body, and I'll rip you to pieces. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize it was occupied. I uh, just a big fan looking around. I mean, this is like the Holy Grail. Right. I mean, I, so. I get to meet the insert name of cybernetic love interest. I, like, uh, there wow. is no name for the. the, the, the they they okay. are just. Okay. Okay. They're, they're they're simply known as uh, as the android. Like they they've never like outside that no names been given. I mean, I I get to meet the android. Like wow. This... <clears throat> I I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I, I must be. 
I don't mean to gush, but... Roll me a persuasion check. Yep. However, before that, okay. Mm -hmm. On that note, Cyber Hacker Three: uh, Return of the Return of the Net Ghost. What was that? What happened to me in that movie? Uh, what would that? What would a rule be to to get that information? <laughs> Do you have an internal agent? No. You're gonna need a concentration check to see if you remember what anybody's talked mm -hmm. about. Uh, how many plus twos do we have? <laughs> yeah, ten. I okay, want to see so, how well your bullshit can pass. Uh, I'm, let me use three plus twos for, and uh, then four points of luck. So overall plus ten on this. That's a sixteen. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> do not know. Shit. <laughs> Can I re-roll that? Because we, we didn't use the re-rolls for the stealth, so... Yeah, two re-rolls. It you doesn't seem like do she's gonna be hostile if you're just fucking, uh... fucking with her. Go ahead. There we go, so that's a 30. <laughs> Basically, uh... She had, uh... During that time, she was in a coma. She was basically a uh, non... She was a non-major role in that film. Uh, oh, wasn't that the one where you were in the coma? Alright. So are you here to get me out of here or something? I, I mean, do, do you want to get out of here? I've been putting calls like... out. I've been putting calls out to fix her. Fucking... Been just... Like, apparently, I was a simply here for the. I don't even. Oh, well, shit. I'm a fixer. I can get you out of here. No, no problem. Last time I. I last time a fixer said that they could get me out of here, that's how I ended up. Like, how do I trust? <laughs> uh. I mean, hmm. immediately. What, what, what can I say? <laughs> like, th th this is player problem of like, <laughs> how do I be social when I'm not a social person? <laughs> yes, backslash. Uh, since they seem to be talking with each other, and I've swapped the gun, I'm gonna immediately start looking over the body. Let me uh, check and see if he's got any tracking devices around him. Tracking inhibitors, uh, you know, things that are currently offline preventing to do things. Is is this, she you know? Appears to have a, uh, she appears to have a couple of chip slots uh, in her neck, much like what Thornton had. Can you tell me what uh, what's in your chip slots currently? Um, my employment ID and also. I am. That's very. You see it? Wait, that that's like a, a false personality in there, or is that like? I, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's me. <laughs> Do they have two chips in or three? There's three. <laughs> okay. Can you identify which chips are in which slots? Mission. To I can't. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Zephyr can Backslash figure that out? Yeah. Zephyr, you can use medical tech. Backslash, you can use cyber tech to see what's going on. Let's see. Ooh. Ah! Okay. <laughs> backslash, uh, cyber tech. Put a little tech. quick little peek. Like, I already made a cyber tech roll looking over the body. Oh, so yeah, was that's like, right. You mm -hmm. did. You did. It's like, um, I didn't know if you wanted me to roll again, but since Zephyr so, was going to roll, I was just going to let Zephyr roll. <laughs> Backslash, <laughs> you you could tell, uh, of all of these, you could tell at least that, that this N54 ID chip is a tracker chip. But, Zephyr, you do notice that this ID chip is also hardwired to a micro, to basically a, uh, 
another chip that shouldn't be in a chipware socket. It the is bomb chip. a bomb chip. So if, gotcha. one, if one of the chips gets pulled, that chip goes off. So can we pull the bomb chip first? Or do we need to like disarm it sometime first? Bomb chip seems uh, non-removable at, at this point. Would need a careful procedure to do so. And also the other one is an extreme uh, personality chip. Uh, poser chip. Well, <clears throat> we got to get slot three out in order to be able to take yeah. slot one. Yeah. Okay. Look, you, you've. <clears throat> in order to get in order to get you out of here, we've got we've got to get that tracker out of you. Do you mind if we, like, put you under so we can get it out? It's gonna take four hours to remove, and surgery. Okay, can, can we get her out of here without them going off? Possibly. It seems like with this, it's good. It's much like Thornton's where they'll just sometimes look, but it does, it's not actively always on. It, okay, we, be... we, <clears throat> we, we need to get her to a neutral location so you can get those chips out of her and that. So it get, if she is tracked, it's to a, an on, a, like a, a random place that we have no affiliation with. Yeah, that'd be good. <clears throat> right, we're, we're gonna get you out of here, we're gonna get the trackers out of you, and you'll be a free woman. Please. Seriously? Yeah. Right. Where, if I have to fucking pose with Marcel one more time, I'm... I'm on the <laughs> 54 to go, you know. I'm a big star, and... What am I? I'm yeah. just fucking eye candy. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunately what happens in showbiz is more often than you'd expect. <clears throat> but hey, come on, let's get you out of here. <clears throat> uh, is there a way we can, like, disguise her? I was wondering so if there's costumes the in costumes. here. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, can we use the costume? Wardrobe and style her? check, please. <laughs> Who has the highest wardrobe and style? <laughs> Just hear from one of your magpie. You just hear from your agent. Can I make a suggestion? Of course. I've taken a moment to take account of what brands are in this room, and it appears that there is also uh, just a uh, <laughs> lot of uh, casual clothing. I'd recommend the generic chic, and also maybe a hat to hide the uh, iconic blonde <laughs> hair. Uh, does that give us pl does that give plus two to the word open style if we follow that? Does yes. <laughs> so plus two to this then. So twelve. Unless Suffer. everyone else says higher. <laughs> I'll I will. Oh yeah, I'm gonna follow the agent and try to help as well. All right. Yeah, I'll... Give, giving supporting roles. Try. Okay. All right. So you're able to <laughs> hobble together like a very, like, it is the most Haywood looking outfit that you could get. It is perfect. like perfect for <laughs> like an industrial community, and also a cap to cover all that up. Yep. Now, do do we want to get out here? Or do we want to, or do we want to try uh, filtering the uh, the actors' place as well? Well, one can. Miss Android, can you move on your own? Yes, I can. I can. You. You happen to have anybody that I can at least go to outside the film set? Preferably another FBC. Uh, well, <laughs> we 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 do actually have a, an FBC right here. Meet Thornton. Where am I gonna run? Oh, I, oh I, so I, you you no you you want to you want to get out of that body? Do you, is that what you mean? I, what this I, body? No, I'm I'm fucking hijacking this from N54. This is mine. I I I uh, above table. I I don't understand what she's asking. Hey, she's asking if there's somebody outside of the city yeah. area she can go to and get away while Please she waits move. for us. Right. Place okay. To report to. <clears throat> well, uh, I know some nomads. They they might know something. Like just if I, if anyone knows anything outside the city, it would be the nomads. 
Well, well, we'll get there when we get there. I'm talking about just outside the fucking film set now. I've been here for about. Calls back. I've been here for about 20 days. I I, I, I like sleeping. In. I I I, I want to go. Up. Oh yeah. Well, we're we're getting you out. All right. Morton, where are you? I'm still back at the other station. Where the happen to you guys? Uh, Thornton, I imagine you guys are... Thornton, uh, uh, on arrival to Station 45, just to clarify, there is now currently 300 people pouring out of the subway tunnels. Yay! Combat has been averted because there's just... These guys aren't going to take risks trying to kill... Uh, trying to deal with anyone. Yep. But, I don't know if you were going to take off with a nice car or not. As well, well we're, we're gonna we're gonna ransack the uh, the actor's place first, I think. Okay. Because uh, Magpie saw some Chinese in there. This guy would probably be busy. So actually, in that case, then Thornton, if you want, if you and Magpie want to make your way in there. I mean, the door's <laughs> open for you. Well, sure. it, it might need to be open, but it could probably be open with uh, a <laughs> little bit of a uh, force. We have an FBC. The door's gonna be easily opened. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's a, a, I, I open the door. The door's locked. I mean, Did I stutter? With, with shield, <laughs> with shields and Samsons and dragoons, it's not the door is locked. The door just hasn't been opened yet. <laughs> yeah. I, I imagine that. 15, I, straight. <laughs> I mean that fifteen damage. I imagine going like straight to the knob. Just forget about the 15 lock. Just fifteen burn. damage to the knob. That sounds painful. Ah! Ah! Oh! No! No, 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 Magpie, no, 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 no. Magpie, if you and Thornton are going to take care of the rest of the lifting, I will, uh, I will get out of here with, uh, this android. Sure. Uh, do you, yeah, you guys I'll... are the ones that will be able to take care of the, the chip problem, so, uh... Yeah, and I'll come with, too. I'll so, And, uh, we go. we'll see if we can get out of here with that car. It was actually a very okay. high perception roll to notice that she was in here. On top of that, <laughs> she is snagging a uh, key off of a ring. You guys want this? What's that? What what oh, that's it? the car. You, you, you see that quadra out there? Yeah. Oh, you... Yeah. I will take you. Hey, well, since nobody here can drive except backslash, and I say I can drive loosely. Right, you, you guys, you guys take the car and get out here, and we'll we'll sneak our way you out. You need me to drive. He just proceeds to look. Uh, uh yeah, but let's but let's uh take care of a different problem. Well, yeah, let me let me get, let's get the guards away first. Yeah. Okay. All right, Mag we, uh, I'll pass her back. So yeah. Mike Pine and Thornton are going to the actor's place, and backslash Zephyr and the android are driving out. <laughs> Did we get the bang bang yet? Yeah, we got the gun. Yep. We found. Okay. And uh, in the same place as the gun was, we found uh, we found another FBC that's basically in, in a similar kind of contract with N54 as you are with Rocklin, it seems. <laughs> it's like we're we're addicted to this shit. <laughs> but uh, Thornton, as you uh, open up the door, well, as you open the door, the door opens. <laughs> Lucy, I'm home. Just hear uh, Mar Marcel from the other end. Just are you the joy toy I hired? You're fucking two hours late. Damn. What the fuck. I walk in and go. Yeah, baby, let's go. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you fumble over for like just a uh, pistol and just points at it. It's it's the tiniest little thing. Just, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Enjoying the view. No, I'm just gonna reach down and just take the the pistol right out of his hand. Roll me a brawling check. <laughs> it's a it's a medium pistol. That's how I go. Here, you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, you're you're you take this uh little uh like uh. Just a uh, standard <laughs> run-of-the-mill medium pistol. It barely fits in your hand as a shield. 
<laughs> I'll go ahead and, and pull the mag, clear the chamber, toss it. What do you want? Uh, uh shopping room. Yeah, no, was, you know I, what we want? We want you to go into that bathroom over there. You're gonna take a nap in the bathroom. You see him just lift his hands up, just kind of go over into the into the bathroom. Yeah, and just as, shut as, it. As, as Thornton is is dealing with the guy, Magpie's already looting. Magpie, <laughs> give me <laughs> finding shot. Magpie, give me a uh, seal reveal check. Sure. Uh, and we'll put my last two points of luck into this. Oh boy, Magpie, do, do you find 26. a lot of things? You find an authentic, real leather trench coat. The shiny black yeah. trench coat that's for the, that, that is iconic to this film. Uh, you find Marcel K's iconic golden Speedo. Um, find... Ew. Uh, it's uh, taking it. it seems to be in the package though. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you also do find uh, on top of that a pair of uh, mirror shades uh, that uh, belong to Marcel as well. Uh -huh. uh, that are iconic to this film. Yeah. And what's the other thing that I had in here? Notes. Ah, yes. There so one of the popular things and I don't know if anybody I don't think anybody looked it up, but uh Marcel always uses a blue spork to eat. <laughs> do, do we find the spork? It is there. You find the spork. <laughs> I am taking now. them all. <laughs> there is one blue spork. And you now have that spork. Did he have a Zayn on him? Uh, well, it's next to the bed. It's a it's a Zayn Tech Grade A plus. Okay, no, I, I just want to make sure he didn't have it in the bathroom. No, uh, I I okay. think it's iconic to to the film backslash to the character rather than the the actor. Okay, just just make okay. sure I, we have it there for the notes. I was but... also noting it in the in the Discord. <laughs> I grab oh, yeah. a chair, I brace the, the bathroom door so you can't get wow. out. Wow. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Oh, and then we just, uh, and I grab his agent and we, <laughs> do we want do we want to resell this? Any expensive alcohol or or drugs oh. around here? You find pure cocaine in here. Ooh, how much? <laughs> Find two doses. Each dose goes for a hundred bucks each. Two doses of cookie. Um, also, on top of that, uh, you find um, about five hundred eddies worth of excellent of luxury alcohol. Nice. I'm taking notes as well. A couple of real vintage bottles of Italian wine is what you what you what you find in here. Nice. All right, <clears throat> for that backslash and Zephyr, where are you guys heading to? Gotta get the guards away from the car. All right. Okay. Wait, what are your thoughts? Putting them to sleep? Oh, oh we could do that. <clears throat> How many uh, guards are there by the car? There's two. Two? Okay. Yeah, I could just use two of my sleep darts and try and knock them out. All right, go ahead and shoot. Yeah. I don't want to be hiding next to Zephyr with the android while they do this. Okay, that's fair. Like if they're doing it from like here, kind of thing, or like or whatever. I just I just want to be enough distance away that if if she if they get noticed, because Zephyr gets noticed, I'm not like I have distance away from us. So I don't think we're associated together. Zephyr would have to get close to do this anyway. So Zephyr, go ahead and roll. Because uh, I imagine you'd be able to get yourself close enough to do this. Yeah. Let's see. With all the commotion that's going on. Okay, that's the first one. Well, he going I to sleep. Change it. He sleep. He Next sleep. one. Okay. And he sleep. 
Awesome. They both Excellent. sleeping. Just see one of them, like, their heads smash against the hood of the car and then just plop backwards. And once Ooh. they're asleep, I'll try and, like, make, move them, all, you know, make sure they're not on the car and out of the way, whatever way we're driving. And once the second one goes down, I will immediately, you know, look at Miss A and, like, let's go and start heading right over in the, in the commotion. All right. With that, as you guys are making an exit, Yep. You guys once again averted combat by doing a, a lot of prep work, and I gotta <laughs> say, cheers to you. Thank you. Uh, and with that, guys, you're gonna be able to leave for probably make your way through the crowd nice and quietly back out to Ginger's Ale over in Haywood and Dust Girl. Yep. The, uh, well, Mag Magpie and Thornton will be going there. I okay. assume we, we get the gun. We, we'll take the gun and Backslash and Zephyr will deal with the android. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the sooner we get the android to a clinic, then you can, we can get the stuff out of them. We can at least make sure everything's not being traced. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. As a ne neutral location, just in case it is being tracked. All right, so Magpie and Thornton, upon returning to, or upon arriving to Ginger's Ale, declare uh, finishing up some stuff at, at the desk. It's about 10 p.m. Oh, you're back. Yep. Got a uh, little something for, uh, what, was it Claire that gave us the job, or was it yes. someone else? Uh, yes. Claire was got going to this fetch for Audrey. Got a little something for you, Claire. Oh. And, uh... Pull out the gun and hand it over, but like uh, handle first. Even though it's basically deactivated, still common courtesy. His birthday is coming up tomorrow, so I figured I'd get him some. Well, our birthday. Figured. Mm -hmm. Wait, would you be interested in uh, any of these as well? And show off the the trench coat, the speedo, and the mirror shades. I have a lot of questions to where you got these. I don't know if I want answers, and I don't know if I want to keep too many hot items. Or... That's fair. More because he's already recreated his own trench coat. So, like, <laughs> it's just one last piece. Why was... not get the authentic thing? But... Yeah? What, Speedo? He puts uh, eight I grand. Think oh, the gun. Gosh. <laughs> no, I. I remember. Wa I remember walking in on him watching Cyber Hacker, and the scene with the speedo came up. <laughs> Absolutely raunchy. Like I thought he was watching something else until I realized it was just the, the movies, and it's just like. Yeah, I, 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 I really don't want that in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I'm sure I'll find a buyer for it. There's got to be fans oh, out there. there there's got to be fans <laughs> out there that want it. I mean, I'm a fixer. I can put, I can put the feelers out. <laughs> Most people want to put it behind them. Never <laughs> <laughs> hey, mind. Thank but, you. Here... But yeah, so our... Our two uh, compatriots are off dealing with a separate issue, okay. but uh... <clears throat> yeah, they managed to get in and out even without even firing the shot. Well, I guess in that case, then I will give you guys five hundred bonus uh, as prompt. That's uh, two thousand five hundred each. Nice. I I'm not gonna haggle with that since we got the five hundred bonus. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, and I'm closing you're, you're up welcome. shop, so I'm just going to y'all to get up. Yep. I, uh, I hope you have a fun night. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. As Backslash and Zephyr, where are you guys taking the Android? Dox. Oh, yeah. Which Doc? Savage uh, Dox. Just Phoenix Redwin, uh, Rockland. <laughs> well, <laughs> not near Rockland. 
you have clearance to get there, but yeah, I guess that's, that's uh... fair. But <laughs> like, if people in a stolen car, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's the other problem. Uh... You have a, a magpie to reach out to her contacts. Uh, no, I just don't know the actual specific name of the docks, uh, which docks in the area. Uh, is my only in, problem, in like, Haywood, above table. In Haywood, you've got, uh, la last, uh, last chance, uh, over at the edge of town. You've got Phoenix Redwind. You have, um, two other just back alley clinics, uh, throughout, scattered throughout Haywood. Uh, of course, there is a Gauze MD down in Haywood, but I imagine that's not gonna go over too well. <laughs> Um, uh, let's try a back alley clinic. Yeah. Yeah, so my was, uh, Vulture was mentioning about a metal storm. I don't know how far that is from there. Metal storm but... isn't too far away if you want to try metal storm. That's a very FP. Sounds like a good it... idea. I'm fine with that. Wherever, wherever we need to go that is... You know, they're not going to, like, find us at ever again later in case he's being tracked. Well, upon arriving the metal storm then, uh, you two. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock at night. The bar is hopping. Uh, FBC is present. A lot of heav heavily borged up people present here. Um, going to head straight up to the bar for questions then. Uh, I'm going to take the time to start trying to look over the vehicle for any tracking devices and stuff. Oh, yeah. uh, sure. That's a good idea. <laughs> okay. All right. There's anything I really need from the bar. We just need more or less space to work that's not immediately there. Zephyr, are you going up to the bar then? While Backslash is working on that, which Backslash, I need a land vehicle tech. Okay. I'm going to use the last of my luck on this. All right. Uh, looking uh, around, you, you don't think there's any trackers on this vehicle. It looks like because it was just a prop vehicle that wasn't going too far that they didn't put a tracker on it. <laughs> but as for you, Zephyr, <laughs> you're heading up to the bar then. Are yeah, we just, so, just, so I know where we're going. Are we just... For, for backslash, are we just trying to find like? T am I just talking to the bartender to find if there's like a face at the Wait. bar or room that I can do? Like yeah, the surgery, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, just, yeah. Above table, trying to be clear what I'm what I'm looking for. Yeah, well, I'm basically looking for a back room where you can do the surgery. Okay, yeah. cool. cool. Uh, you see this bigger, bored out woman. Seems to be like in her mid forties. Oh, it's Gladys. Welcome to Metal Store, honey. How can I help you again today? Uh, hi, hi. We're just. I was wondering if you have like a like a back room. Um, my friend here. We're trying to do some like a quick fix on her, and we kind of are looking for a good private location that you know would be understanding. Are you looking for a clinic then? Yeah. Dr. Royer, he's right, he, he, like, just go down the hallway, he's got a place, he, or, uh, like, we got a clinic in the back, just, I'm gonna need 200 bucks before you go back there, though. I'll, okay, sure, sure. So, I'll, so I'll hand her the money and, you know, then head back there. Alright, and that, as Zephyr, as you come back, you kind of find this uh, really chromed up clinic uh, backslash and Zephyr. Like, it is very shiny in here. Very shiny. Even the table is metal. You just see, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, this uh, killed air uh, model in the back. Just... Can I help you? Uh, hi. We're just uh, looking to... We're just looking for a clinic. We're Ted to come, come here. We need to get. We have some issues with her chip slots that we're trying to get what fixed. Kind of issues. 
Corp's trying to control her and we're trying to break her yeah. free. Ah, well, you come to the right place. Oh, let me have a little look at her. God, takes a moment. Just guys to scan over the neck. Well, I can do this. It's gonna cost it. It's gonna cost you y'all a thousand eddies out of your pocket, though, before I even touch this. Have I got money money forwarded from Magpie yet? Uh, Magpie would have forwarded the money once you get paid. Yeah. Here. Damn. All right. <laughs> I was like, we can split it if you want. Like, you Oh, that'd be great, but if not, yeah. I'm just going to, you know. I don't mind splitting it. <laughs> I, I've cost you enough I'm money lately. Have... I'm willing to pay it, Zephyr, okay? Fine. We're Does good. this lady not have her own cash? Backflash has kind of been wrung out. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, is does the android just not have any cash on? No, at all? I, I, I assume she wouldn't. But, or you know, she need um, cash? Well, you know, just an account or something like that. It's no, just a know. prop. She doesn't need cash. <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. Just a monthly dose of food, and you know, just get on with it. But uh, with that, all right. Well, do about four to eight hours and. Friend should no longer be chipped up. Is that a bomb in there? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Ah, damn. Yeah, make sure it's the same that one first above table. Bomb need, we we managed to figure out the bomb needs to come out first before slot one. Yeah. But if you pull slot the, two, good. yeah, this was a situation. So if you tried to yank the bomb out in the field, it would have gone off. Though. So. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and with that, friends. <laughs> I'll let you know the result of the surgery. But you guys <laughs> got paid. We managed to make it to the end of the session without any uh, serious issues. Yeah. And you know what, guys? I, 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 I'm proud to say that I think we got it. We went and got ourselves through a... Fuck! Well, Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hello? 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 <laughs> So, uh, proud to say, we, you think we we did it? <laughs> yeah, you guys uh, are gonna get yourselves a uh, nice, uh, solid bout of seventy IP. All right. Nice. Oh, take it. <laughs> okay, Jeepers. <laughs> all right, we good. Yes, we're good. All right, Th thank you. All right. So on that note, folks, I'll see y'all tomorrow. But of course, uh, which high riders group is tomorrow? At 404? Uh, or... uh, retool this tomorrow. Okay, okay. So we got High Riders retooled tomorrow. Of course, I'll be on Saturday for my finale with Team Storm Chaser, where uh, we're going to find out if people live, die, especially uh, in the likes of Tequila, a uh, former member over here. So, uh, yeah. On that note, friends, I will see you around. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, friends. Bye, tubes. Fire Nation on